Previously, we calculated the current and voltage drop across. The current flowing through and the voltage drop across R1 and R2. And we started out with the total resistance, the total current, then VR1 and IR1, VR1 and IR2. What we want now is the current flowing through R3 and the voltage drop across R3. So pause the video and do the calculation for me now. Okay. What did you get for it? Let us see what happened here. We are going to want to find out what is the voltage if you should connect a voltmeter between here and here. That will be the voltage drop across R3. Alright? Now, <clears throat> you see this 600 volts. You will have 391 volts drop from it. And then you will have 182.7 volts drop from it. And the remaining, what remains, is going to be the voltage here. So here now. The voltage, let's calculate the voltage drop first. <clears throat> the voltage drop across R3 is going to be 600 minus, what was it again? 391.5 minus 391.5 volts minus 180. 2.7 volts right what will that give us we have 600 volts minus 391.5 volts minus 182.7 volts equal we have 25.8 volts remaining. 25.8 volts. So that's voltage drop across R3. Alright. Twenty-five point eight volts. We have twenty-five point eight volts here. Now what's the current to R3? Well, we know the voltage drop and we know the resistance, so we can find the current. Voltage drop across R3 V equal IR. Oh, no, no. 25.8 volts. Right. It's a current we want. Current is volt over resistance. So it's a volts. 25.8 volts over the resistance of 300 ohms. Equal. What will that give us? So what we have here. 25.8 divided by 300 equal 0 0.086 amperes 0 0.086 amperes all right <clears throat> so flowing down here will be 0 0.086 amps so that's the <clears throat> current flowing through i3 all right so there we have that. 